Yeah, my name's Martin Warren. I run a company called The City Secret and I'm the managing director and founder. We started in 2000 and it began very humbly above a shop with a couple of guys in an office that we had there. We've since expanded and we now have a couple of offices in town. One is a former infant school and the other one is above um, a charity shop and a lingerie shop that we have two floors of, um, which gives us enough room to expand with. So the business is a software development and consultancy business with clients mainly in London but we also have them in Geneva and more recently in Russia as well. So from here we're able to get to London pretty quickly and using Teesside Airport we can hop to Amsterdam and then change to either Geneva or to, to Moscow. In effect we can do it anywhere, we can be based anywhere in the world, there's hundreds of firms in Eastern Europe and in India and China. Um, we chose Richmond, A, because it's a nice place to live, and B, is that we're very close to Darlington, we can be down to see our customers quickly, and we have access to a small, quick airport that we can just walk into, get on the plane and go somewhere. Um, I think you contrast it to Heathrow, where you have to spend hours in security, and there's quite an advantage to little airport. So you get a trickle of people coming up from London who got sick of banking, which is more or less my origins. And we've also found local people who have solid software engineering skills that we've then trained into banking and finance. But if you're thinking of moving here as a business, I guess the key advantage is being in a fantastic part of the world in terms of landscape, scenery, it's a very relaxed place to live. Um, little market town might restrict you on your shops and restaurants, but the advantage are outweighed by in two seconds you're in perfect greenery, you're in the national park up the road. Um, in terms of housing, there's some lovely villages in and around Richmond area, um, further afield actually, it doesn't take that long to get in. We have people coming up from Leeds and York and a whole contingent down from Durham. So actually, while it looks far on the map, time-wise, it's probably quicker than getting from West London into Canary Wharf. In terms of non-work things, what's great about Richmond is that um, there's two very good schools next to each other, so you have a choice. Um, They've just both been rebuilt, they're fantastic modern facilities. Um, the kids seem to be all very polite and nice. Um, and I guess that the other aspects of, sort of family life is there's lots of them to do in terms of outdoors. There's uh, cycling, walking, um, very active clubs in, in both. Um, there's a very passionate and active football club, rugby club, cricket club, little facilities around. Um, swimming, we've got two pools within spitting distance of, of town. Um, and I guess culturally we've got um, a lovely little theatre. Uh, we've got a very active theatre company that goes touring, that's very good, um, that, we're, that we're supporters of. And there's arts festivals, there's walking festivals, book festivals, so there's plenty. And not too far away, you can get up to Gateshead in no time to go and see the Baltic, so going to see the Turner Prize this year was, was a real boost. Not only just left down to London, and obviously got access to places like Leeds and York too, which aren't too far away to go for an evening out. I guess the, the interesting thing about Richmond is that um, you think it's a small market town, but when you start digging around, you can find things you need. So, for example, we were doing a lot of business, or we are doing a lot of business with, um, with Russian banks, and it would be helpful. It, we thought it would be helpful for our people to learn Russian. So, a bit of digging around, we now have somebody in, in Richmond who's done Russian and comes in and teaches us. There's a dozen of us now learning Russian at a conversational level. So, at least when we go over there, we don't have to start mining and shouting at them. Yeah, I guess the, mess the message really to businesses wanting thinking about Richmond Shire is that there's a good radius of people within an hour's drive. Um, and when I'm talking to people or clients, prospective clients, about where we live, there's often, oh yes, Richmond, I walk through there on the coast to coast, or I've cycled through there. So there are people that know the area, but they don't really think of it as a place to do business, but it really is, and there's lots of opportunities for that.